Hi, my name is Tatus Cislewski, and I will talk about SIPs, succinct interest points from unsupervised inlineness probability learning. If you are given two images from the same location and we want to establish the relative pose between the cameras, the typical approach is to extract interest points in both images and match them. These matches can then be passed to an algorithm that calculates the relative pose. In literature, it seems to be broadly accepted that the standard way to go about this is to extract 500 to 1000 interest points. But this can be problematic in certain cases. Specifically, this work was motivated by multi-robot SLAM. Here, relative pose estimation is needed for the robots to establish relative transformations between their trajectories. The resulting data transmission turns out to be the main contributing factor to the overall bandwidth use. This transmission is directly proportional to the amount of extracted interest points, so we set out to find a detector that will extract the least amount of points while still working well for pose estimation. To quantify this goal, we define a metric which we call k-succinctness. It answers the question, how many points need to be detected to result in k inlayers after matching and outlier rejection? This is answered for every image pair in an evaluation dataset, and the cumulative distribution is plotted. Here, we see a k-succinctness curve where 80% of the image pairs get k inlayers with 50 extracted interest points or less, 90% get k inlayers with 75 extracted interest points or less, etc. The further to the top left this curve is, the better. The required inlayer count k depends on the application. We consider relative pose estimation. We can look at relative pose quality as we change the required number of inlayers k on the x-axis. Without going into too much detail, the y-axis shows a the larger the better metric for rotation and translation accuracy and succinctness. The larger k, the better the pose estimate will be. At the same time, the larger k, the worse the succinctness will be, as more points will need to be extracted. We propose a new CNN-based detector that we train to be succinct. Its output is a per pixel score, which we can see in blue here. Interest points, green circles, are obtained from, from it using non-maxima suppression. The interest points can be matched using a descriptor. Here we see inlayer matches between two frames, shown as lines. Whether or not a match is an inlayer can be determined using correspondence labels or geometric verification. Outliers are shown in red. Whether an interest point results in an inlayer or outlier is also what we use for training the network. This can be done in a self-supervised manner using Lucas Canale tracking. Thusly, our method requires the least amount of data labeling and pre-processing to date, needing nothing more than uncalibrated image sequences. A network thusly trained manages to, be the, manages to be the most succinct on datasets like Kitty and Uroc, which represent autonomous driving and indoor drone flight scenarios. The code for what you just saw is open source. I hope you have enough time to catch the QR code in the remaining few seconds. If not, or if you have any questions about what you just saw, I will be very happy to talk to you at the poster session. There I can also tell you about some more interesting results. Thanks so much for your attention.